Yo, Thursday is really starting to be my favorite show to do. So many dope kicks dropping this week. The weather is changing and so are the kicks and starting with some drops from today, Nike Running is dropping the Shield Pack with the Pegasus 33, the Lunar Glide 8, and the Lunar Epic Flight 8. Basically, Nike has upgraded the tech so that it's durable and water repellent. If you run in a part of the country that needs those sort of things for your shoes, these are perfect. They dropped today over at Finish Line. On the basketball side, Nike is dropping a special version of the LeBron 13 Low. The model was made in support of the LeBron James Family Foundation. The upper switch colors from black to white and features artwork from children all over the design. It's pretty cool. Those will be available on the 4th and cost you $160. Keeping with drops for Friday, Reebok is stepping into the fray with a new look on the Reebok Question Mid. The model takes the dress code moniker and is inspired by Allen's signature style and the colors that he wore. Finish Line is actually going to have these in stock and you can grab a pair for $140. Switching to three stripes, one of my favorite shoes to play in this year, the Adidas Crazy Explosive Prime Knit is releasing in the Andrew Wiggins PE colorway. This is technically an away colorway and you can grab a pair of those for $160. If your retro game is tight or you want to get it right, you can also grab the Nike Air Unlimited this weekend. The model is a mix of white and black, but it's really the those emerald accents that pull it all together. You can grab those for $180 on Saturday. One of the craziest releases dropping this weekend is the Nike Air Force One Special Forces. They actually have a few colorways dropping and they extended the ankle and added some straps and stuff. They actually have pairs for both men and women and some pairs actually come with a bag. The pricing for those is between $185 and $200. Under Armour is back at it this weekend with the Curry 3 dropping in the Team Royal or Dub Nation colorway. Of the pairs that have dropped so far, this is easily the most Curry colorway I have seen so far. Pricing for those is $140. And for the Jordan head, there's two releases coming this week that you definitely want to keep your eye on. The Jordan ones have been popping up like crazy this year and the black toes arrive on Saturday even though these did release a little while back they are still a pretty hot item and there's gonna be a little bit of hype behind them so make sure you stay on it pricing is 160 for that classic second is the Air Jordan 31 in the Chicago colorway that transition from that red to the white from the flyweave to the synthetic leather is really dope shout out to Jordan brand those are 185 you can grab those over at finish line I really like the mix of kicks dropping this weekend. Some classics, some upgrades, and some PEs that are really dope to play in. Be sure to check below for the links to all the shoes that I talked about in the video today, and be sure to hit that like button and share the news. I'm Jacques Slade. This is the Heat Check presented by Finish Line, and as always, guys, I appreciate you. I'll see you soon. Peace. When you have someone like Jordan at the top of your brand, it's easy to rely on the past. But is the Jordan 31 a play for the future? Let's start with the obvious, the Nike swoosh. The last of this shoe, which is the KD9. Yes, you guys have seen it before, but this time you get the perspective of the designer of the shoe, which take things up 